how are you? I'm here for another round of Meditate on This. I decided to bring you into my quiet space and I'm going to start doing more videos that are just me and my laptop and hopefully getting to know you all better and connecting with all of you more. So today I wanted to talk to you about something that's going on in my life. So the title of this video is called Zero Patience Equals Zero Faith. And the reason why this is so important to me right now is because I'm going through this situation where I've got this big project that I'm working on and I am very organized. So I've got, you know, every single appointment together. I know like every single piece of paper or like every document that needs to be taken care of for the project. I have everything color coordinated and super, super, super organized for my calendar. And what seems to be happening is that all of these appointments that I make and all of this time that I set aside to make sure that I've got, you know, everything perfectly in order, these things keep getting canceled <laughs> and the calendar is getting totally messed up and the documents that I thought that I had or the things that I like knew that, oh, no problem, I'm going to get these things done, they haven't been happening the way that I want them to at all which is a perfect opportunity for me to learn something because it's bringing up so much stuff. Not only is it bringing up my crazy, insane desire to control everything, but it's also bringing up a lot of fear. It's bringing up so much stress. I'm watching myself, you know, getting into bad habits with eating and all this other stuff over this one thing. And of course, when all those things get out of balance, what I realize is that it's an opportunity for me to look at, you know, what's really going on. And what I realized is that if I was grounded in my faith right now, and I had total faith that everything has a divine order and everything in life has a divine plan, then this anxiety that I feel and these OCD kind of freak outs that I'm having because my documents aren't being, you know, completed properly or something like that wouldn't be taking over my space and my energy so much. But they are because I'm totally forgetting that God has my back. And that's a huge, huge lesson for me. I go in and out of that all the time. I'm really, really confident that God has my back most of the time, but then all of a sudden I'll try to be God and try to control everything and try to make things happen. So the reason why I'm telling you this today is because I'm sure that some of you out there have forgotten that God totally and completely has your back. So I want you to take a look at what might be going on in your life and you know one of my really good friends and mentors Gabrielle Bernstein she taught me this quote from A Course in Miracles and it says those who are certain of the outcome can afford to wait and wait without anxiety and she told me that years ago and I've honestly never forgotten it because I am a person riddled with anxiety sometimes and when I think of that quote I all of a sudden remember that anxiety is really a huge sign for me that I am not grounded in my faith. So this week I want you to meditate on where you're not grounded in your faith. Where are you forgetting that God totally has your back? Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what's going on for you. I love to hear from you. Email me or just leave a comment below and I'll definitely try to coach you through or work through anything that you're going through. I'm here to support you and that's why I'm doing this. So let me know what's going on for you and I hope to hear from you soon. Have a beautiful week and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.